Hi guy, uh, I would like to to show you my a new product. Uh, is a uh, an uh, electrolyte gear. Um, this uh, this is version is uh, JT50. Is uh, made in uh, Avionol. Is a uh, an special alloy used in aerospace. Okay. And um, we have a lot of uh, uh, diameters like uh, 10 millimeters, 8 millimeters, 6 millimeters, uh, 11, 13 for this uh, version. This is a special version from, uh, for the um, Krill uh, aircraft. Um, um, the model is Avanti S uh, by Krill. And um, um, this is uh, an echo. I would like to show you the different of the other uh, electro landing gear. And uh, we have uh, a screen on, on board, uh, two brake, three landing gear, and six door sequencer. Okay, now I try to connect uh, this echo for the first time and uh, show you the um, typical setting uh, for the for the moment. Hi okay. guys, I have uh, connected uh, the the ACU and uh, to the our uh, receiver. Okay, I use normally uh, two channel. Gear one, the first uh, channel one for the gear, and the second for the for the brake for this uh, uh, show. And uh, we have now the three landing gear, the main landing gear and the no landing gear. Okay, now I can check uh, the voltage of the my battery. Now I'm using the three uh, S. Lipo 11.1 voltage. Okay, I'm just check for the for the switch. This is my landing gear. I can show if I move the takeoff and now landing. Okay, this N is NP. This is my brake. Okay. As is normal, I can you can see the N when I push the brake, change in B. Okay, now was the uh, in uh, in uh, landing and V V V uh, we the the echo show three V because the landing gear is not connected. Okay, now I connect and I show you the difference. Okay, now I have connected the landing gear in the same uh, color, okay? But I don't know the real version of the landing gear. Now the Heiko ACU uh, show that it was in a landing position. But if I try to move my button, I can show that uh, stay in uh, one open and one close. Okay. And land. But uh, if you see the uh, landing gear structure, the wing was in the landing. Okay. But the nose in this position, no. Okay. Now I need to invert the cable uh, more or less um, in the ACU and uh, invert the channel now i put the red and black and black and the red okay and now i'm uh, inverting the the, uh, the show this is the main and this is the nose landing here now i can check if I move the button, we have two seconds 
then buy. And normally we are going two in up. Okay, now if you see the the ACU, I move the let me get to no, the wire in front of my camera. Is the strut okay? And uh, you can see that was three landing gear, one, two, and three in takeoff position. Okay, yes, it's okay now. Now is if I move the button, look the T. Okay, I move the button, and now after the second. Okay, we have completed. If you check, uh, was in the ACU, L, L, L is land, land. The wind was in land and the nose was in down, in land. Position, okay. Okay, in the, in the box, there is three strap down. This uh, is, uh, you need, if you use, uh, like me, the 3S LiPo because if I connect the uh, normal servo like my uh, JR servo directly to the ACU the uh, voltage is 11 it's, it's very high for this servo that uh, was uh, on uh, 6 volts okay and uh, normally we use the strap down okay now using only one and uh, I set uh, uh, this assemble the packaging, put the servo, for example, in the first line, okay, D1A, D1A, if you read uh, D1A, is the typical uh, nose gear door, okay, was uh, the... Um, when uh, when you push the button uh, during the takeoff, okay, normally the door, uh, the gear uh, going up and after the um, door will be closed, okay, and first to the landing, the landing or door open and the struct go down okay this is the servo that uh, i can use for the for the door i have connected the servo in the the uh, the, the first channel okay d1a and uh, i'm going up to the um, to D one A second, okay. Now move my camera, okay. This uh, D one eight D one A is the channel, and C means close, okay. When I move the the um, second, I can move the servo to adjust the best position in the uh, in the model uh, door okay if i'm going uh, t1a open like this okay i can adjust 9 to 20 the other port when i close okay this is open and this is closed. Okay. Now I just setting. I check to move the landing gear. The landing gear was uh, and exit. Okay. Is the second between the start was in landing. Two wing is landing and no down. Okay. Perfect. Now I move my my button on the on the radio. Okay.
Okay. We're down and door was closed. If I would like to increase the second between the, the open and move the door, I need to go to the like you can see uh, in the in destruction uh, BOGU and I, I put like example two second okay and the you two second this means that now we have two second uh, between the uh, door open and leg down and leg up and close door okay now i'm moving the button okay now can second and after move then okay in my opinion uh, the, uh, the in the in the landing gear the second when when you put uh, in the landing position was zero because uh, if you have an emergency you can put uh, uh, a whole uh, gear down uh, without uh, any delay but uh, two up i need two second one two second after move the servo okay and it's very high okay up and now move the servo okay this is the the procedure but in my opinion was a, a lot of time okay okay again this is all and um, if uh, you have a question please contact me uh, in my website <coughs> and uh, uh, see you to the next uh, video uh, the next will be the jt60 the, the version for the model up to 20 kilo of weight uh, Okay, see you. Thank you. Bye bye guy. Bye bye